for banded hip thrusts, we're going to take a band. So you, a mini glue band or a latex band is great. We're going to make sure that my feet are apart a little bit. They're not too close and the knees aren't together because otherwise there's no tension on the band. So I want a slight angle with my knees wider than my ankles. Okay, so in that position, I'm not here. My knees are wider than my ankles. And as I come up to that top position, driving my elbows into the ground and almost like crunching my butt up, keeping my knees pressed against the band. Okay, so I'm not raising my lower back and letting that drop. I'm coming up, tucking my tailbone in, squeezing my glutes and coming down. And as I come up, as I mentioned, driving my elbows into the floor, like so. So I'm getting a nice good brace in that position. And again, I wanna make sure that my full foot is flat on the floor. So I'm not raising too close when my heels are off the floor. Likewise, too far away in that top position. It wants to be roughly a 90 degree bend at the knee. So tuck the tailbone in and repping, keeping that band, keeping that tension on the band throughout the movement. 